this year, um, we're, we're, we have a growing number of awards. This is kind of the most fun part of the program, and we do it right before the close, just so everybody is um, in a good good state of mind as we as we leave here. Uh, we'll actually give you a little roadmap to where we're going uh, next year at the end of this. But uh, I think we have six awards, so we're going to do the uh, online awards first, and uh, Shinichiro is going to present those. We're going to do the in-person poster and the um, early career award and Detlev will present those. And then we're gonna do the extraordinary contribution award, which is kind of the last year or two or three award. And then the lifetime achievement award at the uh, at the end of this uh, session and a few other things thrown in. So at this point, I'd like to call on um, Shinichiro to announce the winners of the online poster competition. Shinichiro. One last slide to go to please, oh. uh, John. Should I? Are you ready? So this is what the award is. Uh, obviously, you can just read that. It's kind of the best poster award. In the poster awards, we kind of balance the kind of concept and scientific part of it with presentation things. Obviously, online is a little bit different than in person. So that would be both the oral and uh, physical uh, presentation. And if you're ready, Shinichiro, the winners are, and there's more than one winner, you could describe that because Shinichiro was the chairman of the committee that reviewed, how many people were on your committee? Like nine? Nine people, eight, eight people that, uh, that converged on the following uh, winners. Right. So. So, uh, well, I'm pleased to announce that uh, this year uh, we had a, a very, very good quality process and we had a very difficult task to choose uh, some of them uh, as a uh, award. And, and actually it, it was uh, really, really too difficult to decide to only one poster, uh, uh, we choose uh, top, uh, two quality uh, posters. And so one of them is uh, this one, uh, uh, yeah, uh, presented by uh, Gyan He. The title is uh, Quant. The title is uh, Quantifying the Cost Savings of Global Solar Photovoltaic uh, Supply Change. And I, I, I think this study is uh, really interesting uh, from the perspective of, you know, uh, the current emerging uh, solar volatile uh, markets. And it, uh, although uh, the projection is not so uh, very long term, like we are uh, normally doing uh, until 2100, but it's, it's the insight is really meaningful. And furthermore, uh, this study has actually been published in Nature. And so it's already, has a uh, great recognition, but uh, here we would like to uh, our this study uh, as a IMC a poster uh, award, right? And is he now online? So online, yeah, kind of awkward online. But if you're out there, you, you could say thanks and whatever else you'd like to say. Are you online? <laughs> Evidently not. Oh, there he is. Oh, great. Thank you. Do you want to say say anything? Yeah. Uh, it's a, uh, thank you so much for this honor. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a surprise. And uh, I want to thank uh, my co-authors, um, John uh, Hal Weston from George Washington University and uh, Michael Davison from UCSD. It's really a collaborative work. And uh, we uh, really want to highlight uh, the need for global collaboration to address climate change uh, is uh, at a critical time uh, more than ever uh, such international collaboration, especially through global supply chain uh, of uh, clean energy uh, or, or low carbon uh, technologies. Uh, so I want to thank you for the committee and uh, uh, it's really a great uh, honor, and uh, we hope we will continue our efforts to in this community. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 
Thanks for the poster on being online at this point. Uh, All right. Should we go to the next one, Shinshiro? Yep. So uh, uh, the other poster, which was uh, really good quality, it was uh, uh, presented by uh, Tone uh, Van Dyke. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, which title is uh, the global and regional air quality impacts of uh, diet dietary change, and I think uh, uh, this topic is also a really hot topic for this community, uh, and and also I think uh, the agriculture and food uh, things, and you know he he focused on uh, not on on the you know like uh, energy or emissions uh, but but uh, beyond that air quality and and you know health impacts uh, that that's uh, really meaningful for us uh, and i think uh, it's worth uh, here to award and is he online no okay unfortunately but uh, let's congratulate uh, this poster and and he Can I, can I yeah, it's pretty you? late in the evening there, I think. Um, so uh, next we have the uh, in-person poster and early career awards presented by Detlev Van Buren. Yes, and then first the uh, in-person poster award. And um, you can click, I guess, because uh, I would like to thank this can of the late Mengri Zhao. You are probably, I hope, in the room still. She was in the last session. There she is. Yeah, please come. Yeah, so congratulations. Uh, we uh, had a lot of uh, nice posters. I think the poster session here in person worked very, very well. And we had lots of people looking at the posters, discussing them. And so we had a difficult task uh, with, with, the, uh, nominated, with the nominated committee, which is there, uh, to decide uh, which poster we would like to choose. And we really liked the poster for Ming Mitsu. Mm -hmm. Um, the things that we were quite impressed with was, first of all, of course, the content. Uh, we thought it was mm -hmm. a really nice uh, study that was represented there, and we learned actually a lot from the study. But secondly, we thought it was very well presented, and especially the way that it was um, with different steps going through the whole story, and um, the, the steps were even numbered. Uh, it made it very clear for us to understand uh, this poster. So that was the reason why we have chosen this particular poster. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know what to say because this is definitely a big surprise for me. So I guess I just want to also send thanks for my co-author from uh, Jikri and PNL. Um, like this is not only my work, it's just like everybody's effort. And also I think I'm going to, I think it's uh, important to mention that uh, we're really working hard on bringing water, more water perspective into the IAMs. So this is what this poster is about, uh, like representing the uh, reservoir water storage in GCAM. So I hope um, if anybody, um, I don't think I upload online, but if anybody's interested, I can definitely send, share the poster with you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think we had 46 posters here in person. So that's, that's the 40, we had 46. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, like I said, it was really a lively uh, poster session. Yes, yeah, yep. so move on. We move, move on okay, to the next one. So now award. we're going to do the early career award, which was yes. just the top of last year. So it was given out for the first time yeah. last year. This is the second time. Should I click? Yeah, uh, I think. You could wait for one second. Uh, yes, yeah, so th this is indeed, this is no. perfect. Um, so the Elir Early Career uh, Researcher Award, um, I think it is an important step that we want to highlight also the work of um, young people in our fields. Uh, we have established a set of criteria that we want to uh, use in that uh, award. Uh, in contrast uh, to the, the other awards that will be announced later, we also wanted to really connect it to a, pub a particular publication that we found outstanding uh, and that we would like to highlight as well by this award. Before you click, uh, John, sure. I would like to mention for all the people that were doing the fire drill outside yesterday, yes. I can happily announce that the winner of this poster have found his trousers back, which would be a good thing because he would be coming up here. <laughs> Yermo, congratulations. So 
No, I, I would like to explain to you why uh, we have decided what? to uh, give you the award. And uh, so for, for many people that uh, have been here in the last few days, you could actually see the work already being cited on, on several presentations. Uh, so we would have a, sl a slide that says Kickstarter 2021. Uh, so clearly this paper is absolutely um, uh, seen as something that is very useful uh, by the community. And, and Yarmo is working on trying to define decent, decent li li uh, life standards across different communities, which is a hard task to do. It is very important for us. And yeah, the, the paper is already a seminal work uh, for us. Um, but there's, a, there's more to this. Uh, I think uh, uh, people publishing good papers, I think that is important. Uh, but uh, Yarmo, uh, in support of the uh, IPCC work, uh, worked really, really hard with the author team uh, of uh, chapter three of uh, working group three. And uh, so in the, writing the, that chapter, I think it was a really important contribution. But um, even when we were uh, at the final uh, approval session, um, Yarma was there, I think, constantly uh, helping the whole the whole team to get that um, chapter approved. So I, this is also, I think, a very important community contribution uh, that um, young people can be, uh, young researchers can be involved in the in the work of the IPCC. So that's a few important considerations why we have decided to award this uh, to you. And the award is, yeah, I'm really happy to be able to give it to you. Yeah. Maybe you would like to finish. Okay, well, uh, well, I definitely did not expect to be here um, this early, but uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks so much to, to, to the committee, to everyone. And I mean, I, I, I spoke to a colleague of mine earlier, and I think I said something like, I don't think I ever have a good idea on my own. So most of, or basically all of the ideas or, or work that I've done could not have done, been done at all without her. So this specific work, right, um, the one on decent living standards um, is, is more or less the child of, of Narasimha Rao. So I definitely want to thank him for, for this. Um, a lot of work for this specific paper was done together with uh, Alessio and Jihoon Min. Um, so also a big thanks for them. Big thanks to anyone at the ASA team and, and the rest of the community because um, yeah, these, I, I really enjoy um, now starting to become part of this this community and hope to to stay here much longer and uh, yeah do a lot of uh, do a lot of uh, good work together. I think. Okay, thanks a lot. So. So now we shift to the uh, award that we've been uh, awarding for the longest period of time. I think it's about 10 years now, maybe a little bit more. And actually, by coincidence, the first winner of the Extraordinary Contribution Award was actually Detlev Van Vuren. Some of you uh, may, may remember, may, may have been around then and re, uh, remember that. Uh, so this is, uh, the idea here is uh, somebody who's put in an extraordinary effort in the last year or two or three on some contemporary project. I think for Detlev, it was actually the um, the RCP special issue that uh, I helped out. I actually spent a lot of time on that, but about 10% of what Detlev did is the editor in chief of that, getting the final papers uh, out and getting them through climate change with lots of constraints. Uh, and so this year's uh, Extraordinary Contribution Award goes to, drum roll, Volker Cray from uh, Ayasa. Uh, I was thinking about this. Uh, Volker, Volker, Volker obviously uh, has led this uh, sometimes glamorous, thankless task of running the data uh, protocols and data management processes. But he is a guy that's kind of always around, often behind the scenes. I actually noticed here he was actually in every session I went to, including all the plenaries and all the parallel sessions I, I went to. And I think people have to realize he he wears many hats and plays many roles at EASA and in the uh, European uh, Commission-led studies, in the IMC, uh, et cetera. So he's just put in extraordinary effort, actually over a long period of time. But we thought this year was the year where, where his... his he indicated in his report from the scientific working group, he was doing a lot before just, to, just in that one. And it's kind of 
been multiplied exponentially the last uh, few years. So thanks for your service, Heart heartfelt uh, congratulations. And we did, this was decided early enough that we could actually prepare a appropriate award for you. So congratulations. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot, John, to the committee and yeah, to everyone in the room. I feel flattered and really don't know what to say. I mean, it's it, it's in a way, I, I feel it's been a cumulative effort and um, yeah, things have been hard to, to, to keep under control. I mean, as we indicated from the scientific working group, in, in a, in a, maybe it's, a, it's, a, it's also a measure of uh, success of the data uh, template work that it's gotten a little bit out of hand in terms of, uh, yeah, trying to, to keep it together. But yeah, I, I very much enjoy um, working with this community. Actually, it was a big gap uh, for me. I didn't participate in the last um, in-person meeting in Tsukuba in 2019. And then we had the, the pandemic gap. So it was three years. And I think up until then, I had really been um, at every IMC meeting in, in, in person. So um, it was a yeah, an absolute pleasure to be, to be back and engage with this community in, in person. So yeah, that means, yeah, don't know what to say else. Thanks a lot. I, I can't resist a, a memory I have of sitting down at some Miasa meeting for a lunch with Volker and Peter Kulp when they kind of sketch out the idea of the data template and the EASA scenario management system. And I was totally incredulous that this would be a really good thing to do, but sounds very aspirational. I don't think that it, it probably won't work at all. And now it's kind of the, the, in, the, the, global, uh, the global standard for the community. So good on you for that, going way back that, uh, that far. Uh, so next, uh, we actually are, um, we were hoping to have the, uh, three new members of the uh, advisory uh, council for the IMC uh, give us uh, comments. So Jim Ski and Alan Fawcett have been here and Mikiko Kainuma we hope is online uh, at this point. Mikiko, are you there? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so as I mentioned, we told Mikiko uh, that she was to make some comments on behalf of her being a new member of the IMC Advisory Council. But as I warned you in the opening session, I sometimes lie in a very devious way. So what we're actually here uh, looking at you, Makiko, hopefully it's not too early in the morning, is uh, we decided that you were uh, totally worthy of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. And Makiko and us go way back. She was one of the founding uh, founding members of the IMC, the three of us. And I still remember the meetings in uh, Scuba. I think I got nominated to chair this by Makiko and Jay, I think, uh, when I was not in the room, which was a big honor. But Makiko, in addition to that, is kind of the main person who built up the the uh, the Asian kind of network and AIM modeling team at uh, at the uh, National Institute for Environmental Studies. And now, um, can I go back to the, um, the slides? Yeah, and now uh, is uh, it, it, at the Institute for Global Environmental Studies as a, a uh, retirement job, I guess. But you know, in Japan, people <laughs> just take a whole nother career at, at, at retirement age. So Makiko, uh, from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you so much for all your contributions to all of us. You've uh, inspired us all, mentored us all at times when we needed it. Uh, I always think of uh, you and Jay and Naki as kind of when, when we need uh, adult supervision in the room, which I'm pretty bad at, they uh, they show up just in the nick of time. So I think you, particularly in building up the Asian part of the network, actually working with Jay and others, even before the IMC was founded, you've been just an exemplary uh, role model of uh, for, for us all and a, a true kind of founding father of the integrated founding mother of the, <laughs> sorry about that folks, uh, of the uh, integrated assessment community. So Makiko, congratulations. <laughs> we'll have to mail you your, your award or I think Shiro has agreed to bring it back to you. Is that not, is that correct? Yeah, he's he's got it and he's, he's coming up here and he's uh, uh, said that he will um, safely bring it back to you in, in Japan. 
He, so he accepted it. Uh, Sinatura has accepted it on your behalf and is, is entrusted by us to bring it safely back to you in Japan. Would you like to say a few words at this time? I should add that rather than put the ECA and the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award on the spot to give a big speech at this point, you can say a few words of thanks and then you will be given the opportunity as we started last year uh, to do a webinar for the community set up through the through the Secretariat. So we look forward to whatever you have to tell us in that format as well. So would you like to say a few words at this point so early in the morning in Japan, Makiko? Yeah, thank you very much, and thank you for inviting me to this meeting. And yeah, it's real. I'm very happy. And yeah, and also thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, scientific advisory uh, committee. And I'm very, very pleased with it. And you know, uh, when I, I'm not sure I remember it. I, I met you in 1993 at the ESA conference. At that time, you said to be just beside me and asked me, uh, do you know some integrated assessment model in Japan? Uh, asked me at that time, and I said, yes, we are doing now. So uh, you uh, uh, picked up a model in the uh, uh, assessment rep, IPCC assessment mental report two and you are the CLA and we are and then we are working together and it's a really a good memory and also I have one thing to I also uh, I'm, I'm doing a M research group and also I'm now leading a LCSR net low or zero carbon research network and the Jim Ski was with the uh, European communities and Jim Suki is the uh, first uh, uh, member of the uh, uh, committee. And uh, yeah, of course he uh, took over by others uh, he, when he was working at the UK ERC. And so anyway, it's a very good opportunity to have a great network, including this IMG. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much once again for all you do, all you do all the time for all of us. And even if you're not at meetings, we always have you in mind and what you would say if you were here. We've been doing that uh, well, this whole week, in fact. So thank you again. Uh, you might want to go back to back to sleep at this point. So thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so. No, no problem. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, one of the uh, online poster award winners. Oh, he's now on. He's now on. Okay. 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 Uh, would you like to say a few words? Can, can, can you? Yes. Can, can Can you hear me? Oh, do I have to go off of this meeting? Uh, oh. Hello. Oops. <laughs> you saw that. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to to say a few words. Uh, I was actually uh, about to go to bed, uh, the bit the reverse than uh, <laughs> Mikiko, but my colleagues uh, notified me that it would be worthwhile to take this opportunity to uh, to say thank you for this award. I'm I'm uh, I'm honored to to receive it, and to say also thank you to the uh, conference organizers and and the selection panel uh, for for the great conferences you organize every year and uh, to the broader community for the, all the, the great work you're putting out there. So I wish I was there with you, but unfortunately that cannot be the case. Uh, I have two colleagues there, so somebody has to stay home and, and do the work while they are having the fun. <laughs> so uh, I thank you again and I wish you a, a great conference. Great. Thank you so much for uh, appearing here. And now uh, we woke Mikiko up early and kept you up late. So uh, our mission is, we've succeeded our mission. Thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Okay, back to the closing part of this. Just a few more, uh, few more things. Uh, thanks to everybody here. Thanks to all the participants. I think, you know, we thanked a lot of people in the beginning for getting us set up for success. And I think, um, I don't know about you, but uh, I think it was a very successful uh, three days, intensive three days here. So I'd like to again thank the um, DETLEV for uh, 
being the program chair um, and the whole committee that helped him uh, do that, which is quite a long list, as you can see. Um, I'd like to thank the local uh, lead sponsor, not host, <laughs> inside joke, lead sponsor, the, the uh, Global Sustainability Center at the University of Maryland, alongside the, the uh, Joint Global Change Research Institute at PNNL and the University of Maryland, uh, all the people involved on, on, uh, on that side of it. And uh, the sponsors for sure, including uh, the lead sponsor, EPRI Climate Works, and uh, the Bezos Earth Fund. I didn't say, but it was on the slide on uh, Tuesday, uh, the, the European Commission did provide 10 travel grants for people to come primarily from Europe, I think, uh, here, which is, a, as you know, a substantial contribution. So we appreciate all that support. Um, and uh, uh, I think uh, everything worked out uh, really wonderfully. Detlev, did you want to say a few words? I think that's the way we usually do this because you were kind of the man. So it was from me to you and then back to you at the end. Yeah, so yeah, I, I think it was a great conference. It was also really great to be back together to get again uh, after uh, two years of online conferences. Um, so, I don't know whether you remember the first online conference. Uh, it had some technical problems, uh, but we, we managed in the second year, it was already much better. This year, for the first time, we had to organize a hybrid conference. And so we were already quite afraid of how that would end up because it was in reality, you're not organizing one conference if you're actually organizing two conferences at the same time. Uh, I think it's, it's one, it has been wonderful, wonderfully done by the local organizer. Um, I have uh, in, been in the opportunity some, to sometimes also watch from online and uh, it was really good to follow. So I think um, we also would like to, to thank the local organizer for all the work that they have uh, put into this, which is from the AV team, but also uh, several volunteers and other people from uh, UMD uh, that helped us to uh, run this uh, conference very, very smoothly. I, I'm really impressed. So maybe another round of applause for Philip. For The second thing that I would like to share is that I was really impressed by many presentations here. I, uh, in, in all the parallel sessions that I was, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the quality of the work. Uh, I think we are doing great uh, stuff here. Um, uh, on sustainability, for instance, uh, uh, we now see analyses of people looking at all the SDGs, but uh, on methods, I've seen really great presentations on economics. And so there's lots of progress in the community, uh, and that's uh, good to see. And so also we would like to thank all the presenters, both in the parallel sessions and the plenary sessions and uh, last time for their, their contributions. Thanks. Yeah, uh, following Detlev, I think the, the uh, I was able to go to a number of the parallel sessions and uh, walking out of the room, the biggest complaint was I can't be at two places at the same time. And if that's our biggest problem, in fact, some, sometimes I wish I would, could be four, at four places at the same time because all the talks seem extremely uh, relevant, interesting and uh, exciting, but we couldn't do that. So I would like to single out Alyssa Cummings in the, in the background, who was actually brought in by the UN D side, who was actually behind the scenes kind of coordinating things. So Alyssa, would you like to take a bow? Just making sure all the pieces fit together. And then finally, uh, lest I forget, I'd like to thank the uh, Secretariat from uh, from uh, uh, Venice, uh, Monica, Sylvia, and Gase. Gase I um, and actually that provides a nice transi transition to the final slide, and that is uh, we can announce with permission, uh, this will be a little bit, but according to Monica, not that much easier given the bureaucracy in Italy. Next year's meeting will be in in uh, Venice, uh, date to be determined. If you know uh, the dates that are uh, big conflicts that we don't know about, uh, we've already looked into the COP and the IPCC and whatnot, Thanksgiving here in the US and, and so on. Please let, please let us know immediately because I believe you'll probably be picking a date within the next two or three weeks. So that in, in, in closing, thanks again to the Secretariat for coming here and helping this team, great team uh, that got put together to do um, what looked for a while like an impossible task is that is to do a 
parallel in-person and hybrid meetings and uh, in-person and online meetings in this conceptual kind of hybrid setting, which sounds like it might be easy, but it, trust us, it's a lot harder than you think. And they did it with, uh, with uh, uh, class and, uh, and style and smiles on their face most of the time. So thank you again to everybody. And thanks for the participants for... Yeah, then of course, having good arrangements and a pleasant staff is a great thing, but uh, you guys actually put the, uh, the, the juice into making the program. And I think that helps inspire the, the, those of us doing the kind of planning uh, side from DetLab to me to the various staff groups. So thanks again. See you next year. And we finished uh, for a change 12 minutes early. So go have an extra, extra drink. Still closed, just north of campus, Route 1 Baltimore Avenue. So don't drive that way. Check your app first. <laughs> if you do, don't light a match. Right? Thanks, Steve. Thanks. That's Steve Smith with a public service announcement. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you all next year, if not sooner. <laughs>